Hey, it's Skin.net. My name is Terrell. My name is Aaron. At the Skim.net, we like to integrate technology into our cosplay, and today we're going to show you a really cheap way to get essential parts for your cosplay. Um, by going down to your local thrift store, you can get RC cars or animatronic toys and rescue the LEDs or motors out of them. Also switches. Enjoy. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is flip it over, probably on the bottom, take out all the perimeter screws. Um, there he's just taking out the one that holds in the batteries, but all these perimeter screws are the one that's holding the top of the car onto the bottom of the car. Um, if there's any screws in the middle, those ones are probably holding the uh, circuit boards and internal components in place. So start with the outside ones, um, pull them apart, use a flathead screwdriver to pry them apart if you need, and if all else fails, just snap it because that plastic is probably just going to get recycled anyway. Um, probably won't be able to use it for anything. Smokey the Bear says recycle kids. Save the rainforest. <laughs> That's not where Smokey was. I forget that bear. And he doesn't recycle. Whatever. He probably burns his trash. <laughs> <laughs> Out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Messed up bear. Either way, you see right here, I got a little bit of tension. I'm like, yeah, forget this. You just yank it open. And then, da -da 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 you got a set of wheels. Just throw that piece away. Or recycle it. The top piece here, yeah, it's just recyclable. Um, but what you can see in here is there's a little gearbox there. Um, That's the brown thing he's taking out now. Yeah, just a few screws holding it in. And then the circuit board is actually just an antenna. Um, the, I mean, I keep them because uh, just in case you can use like radio frequencies to control stuff. So far, I haven't really done anything with that, but it is something in the future I'm working on. Um, the tires, surprisingly, a lot of people don't uh, like tires, but those are good for spinning stuff. It's like basically a gear that's a little bit more um, like universal because you can put it on anything and it's had, the tread will catch and spin whenever you have. Okay, so here he just took off a motor there. He just You can just cut through the wires and um, he's using a wire stripper to just strip it and uh, that's so he can test it. He has this little 9 volt battery that you test motors with just to see if it works. I mean, if you're getting it at a thrift store, you don't know. And um, doesn't have to be a 9 volt. Yeah. Well, and it doesn't matter here either if which side you touch to which side. If uh, positive and negative doesn't matter on the motor, it'll just spin the other direction if you switch them up. So you can so see it kind of jumping. That sounds just telling you it's working. Yep. Um, so just snapping out the little piece here. There's a switch down on the bottom, basically an on-off switch. Good for uh, anything, really. So that you want to turn on and off. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm just going to strip the wires with the 22-gauge wire stripper. Uh, I mean, you can reattach these with wire nuts, or you can use soldering. Um, either way, you can put this stuff all back together, so don't even really worry about it. 22 gauge wire is cheap as dirt, so don't even worry about it. And just in case you're not too well versed in it, um, black is negative and red is positive, so just make sure that you hook your leads up together. You should see on the battery a plus and a minus sign to indicate both. Okay, here's just pulling the gearbox open. There's going to be another motor and some gears in there. Yeah, so if you get a gearbox, the gears basically increase the torque of the engine that you have in there. In this particular case, the gearbox, as you saw, is just basically go left and right to steer the wheels. So I don't need that at all. So I just took all the gears out. I'm going to give it to her. She's going to paint them into cool uh, steampunk gears. And then I just want this motor right here, which again, stripping with a 22 gauge wire stripper. If you like steampunk stuff, you should check out the Etsy store. We should link that. Yep, we will. Okay. And again, just testing the motor. Positive and negative does not matter. Electrical motors will go backwards or forwards depending on which side you put them on. I'm um, just demonstrating that you can put a gear on top and spin it, and it actually doesn't stop spinning until you uh, stop it yourself. So, boom. Well, I mean, it will eventually stop, but. Yeah, it'll have a little bit time. of resistance. It's just the antenna again and some capacitors and stuff you can get off that board. Right here I'm just showing you this battery pack that has four uh, double A's on there. So that's going to be about six volts of a battery pack that you can use in whatever project. As you can see here, there's a bunch of screws, rods, two motors, um, some gears, two sets of wheels, a switch um, that we got out of there. 16 screws, eight uh, gears, four rods, um, and a battery pack. Hi, thanks for watching again. This is the skim.net. My name's Aaron. And I'm Terrell. And we just showed you how to get essential parts out of an RC car. If you guys like that, then visit us at the skim.net and we can show you what you can do with those motors and improve your cosplay with technology. 
Also, we have a subscribe button where you can get updated on all the YouTube videos that are coming out because they'll all be on YouTube. As well as if you were a T Rex, you would say, subscribe to Twitter, subscribe to Facebook, <laughs> subscribe to all the, all the stuff down here. Thanks for watching. Bye. Their hands come out of their boobs? Yeah. Oh. I don't know my T Rex anatomy very well. That was fun. It was when you started talking like how I was ordering at Burger King yesterday when you told me I was being a dick. Yeah, but this is random people. That was a random person. If she spit in my burger, it was still a good burger.